crucial court hearing for the Chicago police officer charged in the murder of charged with murder in the shooting death of 17 year old Laquan McDonald. The judge deciding what is next for officer Jason Van Dyke after he views dash cam video showing Van Dyke shooting McDonald 16 times. Steve Rogers is a retired detective with the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department and the author of two books on community policing. In terms of that aspect of law enforcement, I mean, this shooting has set back community policing in, in Chicago a decade. It set back policing across the country a decade. Absolutely no justification for what this officer did. I've got to tell you, I've spoken to law enforcement officers uh, all over the country, and uh, they're just uh, uh, beside themselves over what this officer did. Even though the kid had a knife? Look, the kid had a knife. One, he wasn't uh, threatening at all. He was walking away from the police. And, and two, the other officers knew enough not to shoot. But let's just stretch it a little and say, well, the officer felt threatened. He puts one shot into the kid. He falls to the ground. You don't pump 15 other shots into a person on the ground. You don't do that. Why does that happen? Is that rage? What is it that causes something like that to, to erupt from an officer? Well, it's a good question, and it's a question that can only be answered if you find a pattern of that type of behavior, excessive force, or multiple legitimate complaints against this officer over his career. I think that what this police department's going to have to do is take a good hard look at this guy's uh, track record, and maybe they'll find the answer to that question. Is that the kind of thing? I mean, police, most police officers never actually fire their weapon during the course of a career. Isn't that the case? That, that is the case. They're well trained to defuse situations like this. But look, if the kid was attacking a cop, if they felt threatened, by all means, you're going to use the necessary force to stop them. Let me say that a minute. You're trained to use the necessary force to stop their threat, not to kill. So is more training the answer? I think in cases like this, it, training is always a part of the answer. But also, when you have an officer, and I believe in this case, and correct me if I'm wrong, that there were some issues regarding this officer going back over his career. What the answer to the question is, regarding officers like this, psychological testing maybe uh, periodically if there is a pattern that is troubling. Uh, let's take another uh, look at a story uh, very much in the news over the weekend, the Planned Parenthood shootings in Colorado, Colorado Springs to be specific. The suspect, Robert Louis Deere, makes his first court appearance via video link just a few hours from now, and police are playing this one very close. Uh, we've heard a little bit about some of the statements that this guy Deere may have made, um, but police are not releasing any information about the murder weapon. They have said that they are sealing the warrants, not providing information on the weapon, a timeline of events, or even the motive of the suspect. Why such a tight lid on the security, Steve? Well, they probably have a lot of information regarding the background of this individual than uh, they're willing to give out. The investigation is ongoing, but I'll, I'll share this with you. Uh, everyone, Republicans, Democrats, everyone has to lower the rhetoric a little and stop finger pointing. We have to start uniting this country, not dividing it over issues like this. He's the bad guy. No political people are bad. He's the bad guy. He is a guy who lived a, a very isolated life, very much a loner, somewhat, somewhat troubled. Um, and yet there are really people on both sides of the equation who are using this as a political a political issue, I guess, to make a point. They are, and they shouldn't be doing that. We have a tragedy here. We have a police officer was killed. Two other civilians were killed. This is not a political problem. This is an American problem. And, and let me add this, that we're going to find during the course of this investigation there were red flags. There's always red flags. Somebody sees something, hears something, they don't say anything. Well, it's high time we start speaking up when we hear things from people like this. That, that is a point, and it, it bears, you know, reminding every time something like this comes up um, that everybody, you know, somebody will step forward now and say, oh, yeah, I knew he was kind of odd or he, you know, he said something, he threatened to do this in the past. These things can be prevented. And they can be, and it goes back to your point in the beginning about community policing. Yeah. When you have police officers walking the streets, walking the neighborhoods, interacting with people, I would guarantee there'd be a police officer who would know this guy, who would know his behavior, and then do something about it before a tragedy happens like this. Steve Rogers, retired from the force in New Jersey. Steve, thank you. Thank you. Jenna.